Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Oxford Original Approved AA denim jeans. Oxford's original approved AA denim jeans are single layer denim riding jeans that meet the middle of three levels in the CE protection standard. They cost £119.99 a pair and they give a good balance between comfort and protection in my experience, which is having ridden a few hundred road miles in them. Where protective riding jeans used to always be about the internal linings that provided abrasion resistance, single layer jeans like these have taken over as the most attractive option now. The protective material is woven into the denim layer, which makes them look and feel much more like a regular pair of denim jeans. These original approved AA denim jeans are made from a 13.5 ounce denim. That figure refers to the weight for a square yard of the material, and that makes them a middle weight jean. The protective material used within that fabric is Oxford's Armour Light material, which is the same stuff as used in parachute cords, so we know it's got plenty of strength. That means these jeans are able to reach the middle tier of CE when it comes to abrasion resistance and also in avoiding tears and burst seams. The belt loops are really strong. There's a seam running down the middle of them and the two at the sides just here have also been angled in the way they've been mounted to make sure that they can't pull away from the jeans themselves. The back yoke, which is this section just below the waistband here, is lined with a black twill material to strengthen it and then it's triple stitched just here to really ram home that rugged construction. The hip armor pockets here are also black twill, which gives both comfort and strength. And the actual pockets themselves are also black twill. Again, that gives it a bit more strength, so your pockets aren't gonna to fall to bits. Hip and knee armor both come as standard with these jeans. The knee armor is a soft and plush protector that meets the higher level two in the CE standard. The hip armor is only approved to level one, and it's a stiffer, more rubber-like substance than the material used for the squishy knee protectors. The denim that's used in these jeans is claimed to be stretchy, but I'd say any stretch in the material is minimal. It's not something you can really notice. So I wouldn't buy a pair of these in too snug a size and expect them to be really stretchy and close fitting. The fabric's been treated to make them quick drying, and in my experience of being caught out in a couple of light showers, I'd say they're pretty effective at drying out after light rain like that but I'd not go as far as saying they're water resistant in any way. The original approved AA jeans come in two fits and three different colors. Fit wise, there's both straight and slim leg. I wore the straight jeans and found these left a bit of room in the leg and would also fit over a pair of relatively wide sporty riding boots at the ankle. The slim ones I'd say would be better worn with shorter boots or with riding trainers. The colors are a rinse wash, which is this dark blue. There's a two year aged finish, which is kind of a faded version of this and then there's also plain straight black. They come in three leg lengths. Short is a 30 inch inside leg, regular is 32 inch, and long is 34 inch. I'd say they're quite generous in length when worn off the bike, but jeans naturally ride up when you sit on the bike, so that extra length in the leg actually comes in handy when you're riding. If you're attracted to riding jeans because you can wear them for the commute and then leave them on through the working day, then I'd say these jeans are okay for that. They are thicker and they are warmer than regular jeans, but I've found them okay in that sense to wear through the day. The bigger issue that I've found is that wearing armoured jeans all day isn't ideal and fishing the armour out of these jeans isn't particularly easy. It's not terribly difficult, but it's not really, really simple like it is on some jeans. But I also found the rubbery hip armour was a bit too inflexible and uncomfortable, so I actually removed that quite early on and used these jeans without the hip armour in place. If I really wanted hip armor, I'd be looking at more flexible D3O inserts from a brand like Held or Furigan to put in there, or possibly some Seasoft armor by Revit. There's also another option, which is Oxford make a AAA version of this jean now, and the hip armor that comes in those is much more flexible. So if I could get that as an optional upgrade, then I'd probably be looking to put something like that in there instead. So these jeans have been around for a couple of seasons as we record this video, and the customer reviews are on the whole very positive. Of the 152 customers who've left a review for a pair of these jeans so far, 119 of them have given them maximum five stars, which is an 83% hit rate in terms of maximum reviews. That's quite impressive. If you're after denim jeans for comfort on and off the bike without needing to wear them all day, then I've found these to be a very good option. They have decent protection levels, they're comfortable, and the price at £119.99 is very respectable for the build quality they offer. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Oxford original approved AA denim jeans. 
But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.